Well, most of us remember the big snow of 1996, but imagine putting up with the same sort of thing a century ago. There were no weather satellite warnings, no big diesel snow plows, no skidoos to help people in February of 1916. It snowed back then too. And that's today's installment of This Week in History with Bruce Kirkpatrick. Horse is king on streets of city. Royal BC Museum archivist Dennis Duffy looks at some headlines from February 3rd, 1916. It's very obvious the weather was making news in Victoria. Obvious too from this 35 millimeter nitrate film newsreel footage donated to the National Archives in 1973 by Victoria film collector Alan Taylor. The streetcars weren't running for part of the time. Uh, cars had immense trouble. Trucks from businesses couldn't make deliveries. The people were, were putting together improvised sleds. The Victoria Police used uh, a sleigh as a paddy wagon and the fire department put their hose cart on runners. It had been snowing heavily in late January, but the big blizzard of 1916 began February 1st. People couldn't get home, schools were closed, events cancelled, transit stalled, funerals postponed. Looking north on Government Street, south on Government from Broughton, Johnson Street beside Pryor's Hardware, the snowmen of 1916, the staff of the BC Telephone Company, and Lower Yates blocked. The city workers just couldn't keep up with the volume of snow and eventually the army was asked to supply some help. 150 soldiers from the Willows Army Camp were called out. The 88th Victoria Fusiliers, the 67th Western Scots and the 103rd Overseas Battalion. They dug snow by hand and then they went to war. Those fellows, within three or four months, they were uh, overseas in Britain and on their way to the battlefields of Europe. Someone even left a recruiting poster in the snow. Even with the army doing its best, nature ruled. People out in the rural areas were really stuck for uh, fuel and they started cutting down their own trees, ripping up their own fences and tearing up their front steps to burn in their, in their stoves. They were short of coal in Esquimalt. The householders couldn't get their coal deliveries, so a BC electric lo locomotive was pressed into service to carry sacks of coal. The February 2nd, 1916 daily snowfall record was pegged at between 53 and 58 centimeters. That record stood for 80 years until late December 1996, when Victoria received 65 centimeters of snow in a 24-hour period, for a total of 150 centimeters over two weeks. It's a familiar sight when it snows on Vancouver Island, when nature creates white mares, such as was the case in 1916. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.